Ahoy there. Ahoy there, sea men. <laughs> that works. Oh, I'm there, Ben at sea. Welcome aboard the Jolly Jazz Cat. Oh, yeah. Uh, today, we are back on the great journey. We're playing every single Halo game until Halo Infinite. Wait, sorry, what? <laughs> uh, Do you want to start gonna over? Beat Halo no. Right now, yeah, so. we're going to be we're, we're two missions away from the end of the game. I'm Guy. I'm, I'm Olivia. Don. Oh, it's Olivia. <laughs> yeah, I'm Forrest. <laughs> and we are on the level Keys. I sure wonder what is happening to Captain Keys. I sure don't know. I hope he's okay. I sure do like me some Daddy Keys. Whoa, dynamic. Oh, <laughs> See that cinematography? Yeah. <laughs> And people say video games are an art. <laughs> <laughs> Don, you're a delay. They turned the camera upside down. I try. Ah, oh, you prick. I seriously don't understand you. people he's, he's a, who say video homie. games are artistic. Wait, what? I seriously don't understand yeah. people who say that video games aren't like artistic. Oh yeah. It no, like doesn't make real. sense to me. Yeah. Same thing with like people when people are like. Grenade. Digital artists aren't real artists. And it's like, what the Do fuck? Do people say that? Oh, all the time. Really? Yeah, people all the time will That's say that. That's a surprising amount. They say, they say that digital Hold art, it. like, makes you less of an artist because you can do things like perfect. Like, you, it's not real art. If you're not doing I, cave paintings, you are not a real yeah, artist. Right. I remember hearing that, like, early on when uh, digital art was really gaining traction. But, like, when I was... Well, it, was, it wasn't before I was in college as well, but I haven't heard much of that, honestly. Maybe because I don't really listen to critics, art critics. <laughs> I just hang around artists. <laughs> Everyone who thinks they're an to, art critic on the internet. Yeah, who happen to uh, dig digital art. Like Oi. something I hate to people say like photography isn't a real art or like Well, hear me out. Hear me out. I do think <laughs> I this guy up. now let me preface this with photography is a passion of mine. I love photography. I have for many many years. Let's throw some of Forest photography up on screen right now. But uh, with the, I guess with like the new technology and the new little cameras that people have in their phones and the more affordable prices of cameras, uh, just anyone can take photos. And yeah. I see a lot of times that these really shitty fucking photos are getting so much attention. And, like, no technical elements, no compositional elements, no, no like, just nothing is really considered. It's just a fucking mm. snap, you know, but it's, it's like, praised so much. Yeah. And there's so much of that going on that it's kind of degraded photography as a medium. Mm -hmm. And I agree with that, like... When I, I've gone to a few shows and I've brought my artwork, my photo uh, photography, and, you know, at the show there's painters, there's uh, sculptors, and then I had my photography up on, on these walls, and I did not feel like an artist. I, it, I just, it felt so insubstantial to what other people had. Mm. So I kind of yeah. do stand by that. I think the only photography that really still classifies as art or like I mean that's such a I don't mean that like die hard but you know yeah loosely I, I, I do agree with it the only photography that I still think is legit is like fine art photography people who have studied it you know gotten a master's degree you know they're doing abstract landscapes or you know stuff like that mm -hmm. Yeah. I but, oh. I think of photography or high fashion, you know. Photography is a tool for the medium to be used. Like a paintbrush can't create a masterpiece just in the fact that a camera can't capture a beautiful mm. moment on its own. And you I was, know, like it's a tool to be used. I, I think what I I just have beef with these shitty ass photographers <laughs> gaining so much yeah. attention when they have yeah. no fucking skill or talent. I and it's because of the social media and it's just I think it's dumb. And I it's a 
you know, hypothetically, the same thing could happen with painting. Mm -hmm. Painting supplies are way less cheaper than cameras, oh. you know, you if you get the, you know, mm -hmm. that stuff. And But that stuff doesn't go viral necessarily. So maybe it's just like, and photography is super new as an art form mm -hmm. in the grand scheme of things. So maybe it's just a step in its, you know, life. And, it's, and so. I would, um... Also ask, do you, do you think that that makes it less of an art form? Because, I mean, at the same time, anybody can, you know, pick up a pencil and draw something. Mm -hmm. That doesn't necessarily mean at that At the end that's... of the day, art is art. If you create yeah. something, it's art. So, technically, yeah, of course it is. But, mm -hmm. you're, I, you're, I guess you're, what I'm saying... You just have more beef with... Yeah, I got beef with it, you know? Yeah. It's just... I, yeah... But you I think it has lost a lot of credibility as an art form. It still mm. is an art form, but it's it's lost its seriousness that it had when it first arrived. I think how you treat it is how I see a lot of digital artists treat people who like get really, really famous and popular, but all they do is trace stuff online. And like obviously tracing is very important to learn for artwork. That's mm. how you learn like form and and you know, character studying and all that, and like how to like draw Are anatomy dead, and stuff. But a yeah. lot of people, oh, just died. a lot of people online have been gaining like like traction because all they do is copy like other people's artwork online, make like very tiny minor changes, and then say that it's their own. Like they claim it when someone else has you're, like put in all the time and work. Into you're saying what I'm talking about is Yeah, that, it's yeah. like very, it's like that's how like digital artists like feel yeah. also kind of about their medium that it should be taken very seriously as an art form, but then people like that like mm -hmm. kind of make it like less for yeah. people who consider themselves true artists to like look respectfully I'm, on the medium. I'm I wonder if it's just because these art forms uh, graphic design, digital art, and photography are just so new. new. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's just like a part of their life cycle, you know. Mm. It's new. It's it's a novel, novel thing. It so can't a lot be of trusted. people flock to it. Because I mean, to you think about like when we look back in time at like you know the fine art pieces like you know Van Gogh, Starry Night, like stuff like that, we only see the stuff that didn't withstand time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah. there certainly was a lot of shit out there too. Yeah. I bet. Wait, are you saying like right now we only see the stuff that hasn't withstood it? Uh, sorry, I didn't hear you when you said that. What do you say? I, I, I'm confused how you worded it. Are you saying like As in there like, was also a lot of shitty artwork back then, but we don't see it because it didn't withstand time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, absolutely. The mm. thing that's different now, too, is that we're in a time when so much more is accessible to so many more people. Mm -hmm. And back then, like during, you know, when Van Gogh was a painter or uh, Leonardo da Vinci, it's like they trained for years and years and they, they studied under masters and it was an apprenticeship, like as like most things were at the time you know it wasn't just like oh i'm gonna swing by the store and pick up some mm -hmm. paintbrushes and paint and go fuck off you know mm -hmm. like it was much more serious it was a trade and that's not how it is now yeah i don't believe van gogh though trained under anybody yeah I I, i'm not an art historian so i could totally no you're fine that, i think that i was, know what you mean though i understand yeah point. yeah i think that was the point why no one respected him a lot was because he like taught himself how to paint mm. and like no one liked his style of yeah. painting and then then and now art is like very elitist almost oh for sure like that kind of art yeah, yeah. for sure yeah and i think too there's a lot of frustration to be had, like you're saying. I don't, but at the same time, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing, and I don't necessarily think you think it's a bad thing either. But uh, I mean, it's just frustrating. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not really trying to anymore, but like when I was in college and for a few years after college, I was really trying to get like my website and my Instagram to take off with my photography. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even up to like the last, you know, two years ago, I was trying mm -hmm. and. I was really taking my posts seriously and my my engagement, 
engagement with the audience and I was going to shows. I went to like a couple shows with my art. God damn it. And I didn't get any fucking followers. I mm. mean, and I just attributed it to the, al the algorithm because I would see these other photographers who just took oh, that's you. Sorry, shit name. work. <laughs> and like I, know, I know like art is subjective what you think is yeah. good, but it's like as far as technical ability and I'm elements smiling. that you consider when you're photographing something uh, that make it, you know... Yeah, I, it's just good technically, yeah. I suppose. Mm -hmm. It's just completely absent in these people's work, and mm -hmm. it's like, it's just... Frustrating you know, thousands so and thousands, much effort into yeah, it. Yeah, thousands and thousands of followers and likes, and I'm just like, this is so stupid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's... Maybe I shouldn't have gripe with photography. Mm -hmm itself maybe it's just social media that i should be yeah. pissed off about yeah. you know? <laughs> the media because it's not like that stuff. in itself is an art form like people like study and like get degrees now on how to like become famous on social media yeah that's very true and they keep changing the algorithms too and it's yeah. just so frustrating to try and well, like why do they do that that's just so strange to me whatever is getting more advertisement dude like people, yeah it's all about money people are looking for something you know that like maybe isn't so independent and so like forthright because they know that they can like control and manipulate because like those people aren't in it necessarily maybe for their art as much as they are for fame and attention and it's easier to manipulate someone on that on a corporal level rather than like someone corporal. who has a, a corporatal mindset corporal rather than doing it for like their art you know like yeah. that's not as marketable oh, that's it i'm done you're dead oh shit no i'm not but i i can i can tell i'm going to be yeah all right well i'm also dead fuck <laughs> there it is don't yank on me too hard okay uh, don't yank on me please. oh we didn't get a single checkpoint are you kidding me it's all right we got this uh, right. A checkpoint. You can do it. This way? I don't even know, <laughs> to be honest. One of the doors. Uh, let's see, try this one. It'd be one of the green light. But I do like getting to hear your perspective on it, for us, since you are, like, a serious photographer. Jesus! Yeah. Well, it, that's from your perspective. I, like, I've been doing photography for, what, seven years now? As a hobby, I mean, I've done it professionally, technically, um, you know, as a freelancer for weddings and headshots and events and stuff like that, but um, I don't consider myself a professional photographer at all. I mean, I see other professionals and I'm like, they're so far ahead of where <laughs> I'm at. It's like, it's not, it would be, it would just be a joke to call myself that that classic imposter syndrome yeah yeah for sure i mean there's people like what i, I take pictures of and that's great but oh i, I just it. i made it so far i almost made it i just consider it a hobby at this point and, mm -hmm. you know and yeah no shame in that either yeah a hobby that i'm willing to spend thousands of dollars on for <laughs> a moment, you know well ooh, i am out of ammo that's great <laughs> <laughs> Wah, wah. Gotta take it off them flood boys because they got all the ammo you need. Yeah, no way I was surviving that. <laughs> Where did you go, Don? I didn't even see you. Um, yeah, no, I'm 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 continuously just trying to speed run and see if I can get the next checkpoint. <laughs> oh hell yeah. <laughs> That's what th there's a level in Halo 3 where you literally I think it's called Cortana, but you're going through like the flood like spawning grounds, I guess you could call it. Um, and Don and I spent so much time trying to go through that one time, and we were fighting through it, and we just kept dying, and we got to a point where we just booked it, and we booked it through the entire level and didn't fight anyone, and it worked. <laughs> it works sometimes. Yeah. Master Chief is quite the bullet sponge. Yeah, he is. He's got them shields. Oh! Oh, man! Lordy, lordy. Lordy, lordy. We just gotta get to that check. We gotta get to that, um. Son marker. of a heckin' hack, dude. What the fuck? Which is that, uh, DoorDash that you ordered Chick fil A on? Where is it at on? 
What? It was on, yeah, DoorDash. DoorDash, yeah. Uh, do you want me to check on it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh... Oh my god. So, Don... Yeah. So yeah, when I, when I go ahead problem. and... Puts all of them over and on top of you? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed yeah, I it does. That last time when Forrest was playing. Oh, that's you. Fuck. This is about where I die every time. <laughs> oh, there you go. Go smart. Once you get caught in the Flood Covenant crossfire, it's really hard to make it through. Alright. Like the corner of my eye just saw this thing go. Oh! <laughs> I was like, oh. No. One time that happened to me, and then I looked over, and it was a wolf spider crawling across my Shut <laughs> my arm, my, uh, not my arm, up. but my... The arm on my couch. The house that I grew up in was in, had a spider infestation. Oh my Yeet. god. And we were not able to, like, flush it out. Really? Yeah. So every night, it, it got so bad to the point where every night it was a wolf spider and house spiders. And we had black widows too, but they weren't, like, they didn't really come out, you know? They hid in their spots. But, um, yeah, it got so bad to the point where every night I would go to bed, I would wake up with five or six, well, oh, five, two, shit. six spider bites all over me. Are you serious? Yeah, and like during the night I would feel them crawling in Stop, between the covers. Stop, you're fucking uh, kidding. Or I like, I would turn Ooh. on the light and I would see like two on the walls right next Are to my face. Are you being dead ass? I'm being serious, yeah, it was really bad for a while. My god, where we, are these damn checkpoints? We weren't at that level, but when I lived in Arizona, the last house that we lived in, we had scorpions, like, all the time. Oh, like, yeah. during the summer, and it was fucking so scary. It wasn't that bad, like, by any means, but at least, like, usually, like, once a day, we would, like, see them, like, crawling on the tile, and it was like, yeah. oh, fuck <laughs> off, oh my god, please. That's how I feel like Australia is. That was, that was, that same thing happened during the summer when our AC went out in August in Arizona, and our house, at one point, like, before we got a hotel to, like, so they could fix our AC, our house temperature got up to 87, like, in the house. Oh, yeah. And it was probably one of the worst things I've ever experienced. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't fully listening. Uh, so the house got up to 87, and that did something to the scorpions? Is that what you're saying? Uh, it was at the same time. So, like, we had the scorpion thing, and the house was, like, oh, super yeah. hot. And I think it made it worse that it was super hot, because, like, more, like, scorpions oh, yeah. were, like, into coming into our house. And it was just, like... It was the worst. We were like, we, gotta, we gotta leave. We gotta get out of here. Uh oh. Yeah, I just keep going. It, it keeps doing that every once in yeah. a while. Fuck, fuck, this, fuck this spot. Fuck this joint. <laughs> we Audi. We Audi 5000. Audi 5000? Audi 5000. Guy, did I ever tell you about oh, the time? I'm gonna die. When I was living at your house and you, like, pretty much everyone was gone. And I went to go take a shower, and there was a spider in the shower, and I tried to drown it, and it crawled up into the vent. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I did not shower that day. I oh ran, my. I ran away. I was you. like, nope, <laughs> nope. You did not tell me about that. Yeah, it was really scary. Shit. I like Shit. tried to use like. The Cause guys Push me into that. Oh, nope. you just hit the freaking mic. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, wow, this is, why is this so difficult? Because there's no, where are the checkpoints? It just keeps restarting us from the beginning each time we die. That's so annoying. Look at him quivering. All right, let's see. Let's see if we actually sit down and do this. I just hate doing, I hate doing it like this. God, I hate playing Halo. <laughs> <laughs> You Halo, like you play like a smart person? <laughs> you mean boring. You can skip this section by just jumping down oh, here. Oh, wow. And like bouncing off the, the wraith so you don't take any damage. Also, I feel like we keep going one in, like one by one in. We're not teaming up. Yeah, because <laughs> somebody <laughs> took a oh, running no, start. <laughs> Dawn. Uh, I don't know. You uh, you're the one who's not keeping up with me. I don't know what your problem. Is. Uh, yeah, true. No, but literally each time we die, we respawn in the fucking opening hangar. 
Yeah. I don't even know where you are at that point. Don's like, and I don't feel bad for you. <laughs> that uh, opening hangar, is that the beginning of this level? Yep. Oh my god. Out. We might be going the wrong way. This way. And they were going the wrong way. This is. They were. Oh my god. You go down How there. The fuck, do we get turned around? There. What are you doing? That no, that's that's Me? the hangar where we were in. Pop. Pop, 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 pop god. to the top. Oh, I'm frozen. Fuck. I'm frozen as fuck, boy. Forrest, did you ever watch High School Musical? No. <gasps> uh, really? Ugh. No. Ugh. Oh my god, we're gonna watch it. No, yeah, that, we are. That is something I will not watch. <laughs> no, why? Why not? I will watch why? the Muppets you with you, but. No, we you watch High School Musical. High School Musical is so much fun. High School Musical is so much fun, dude. <laughs> There's so many references I make. To High School Musical, I guess it's don't dance. I heard that the first one was decent, like good, um, but the then the second, rest the ass. second one is literally so fucking good. That's the one that has All right, hold on. I'm gonna throw a grenade Troy there. Bolton running through the golf <gasps> course singing. Ugh. You're watching it with me. I don't Ugh. care. No, I don't care. You're gonna watch it with Let me. Right, let's go. The amount of times I have decided to watch y'all's favorite movies and shows with you. And I have never asked that of you. You could. Well, that sounds like a you problem. That sounds like you yeah, can no, ask I just us. To <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You know what we still gotta do too? You know. Watch the never ending story. Yeah, and, I'd, I'd fuck with that for and, sure. It's been and, a while since I've seen that. And I want you to watch Dark Crystal. Yeah, I'll watch that. I think you'll really like Dark Crystal. It's very cool. Um, I started watching it, but it, I just. It wasn't what I wanted to watch at the time, but mm -hmm. it looked interesting. Yeet. It's a lot of fun. It's a good... It's I a good hear it had some, like, criticisms about it. Throwing grenades. Yes. That didn't like, um, like how the story played out, maybe? Yes, because okay. Jim Henson's original script for it, I think, was, like, almost like a four or yep. five hour long movie. Really? And obviously, like, the producers were like, we cannot have this, like, movie. So he had to cut out a lot of, like, the lore. And so oi, when you, oi, like, we watch the it, it can be, like, kind us. of... It's still a really Look fun out. movie. Grenade. It's yeah. very interesting. Oh, God. But, like, 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 a really hyper-condensed story. Yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Some of the lore did get kind of lost. Oh, yeah, so, not. so Jim, oh, wow. okay. Jim oh, Henson, I think, like, ten years later, partnered Grenade. with... Um, a comic book illustrator, and they made three comics to pair with the movies. I've uh, never read the comics, but I've read like all the synopsis of like them and grenade. like the lore that they they like make the story make a lot more sense and super super good. Is like, this the, all right? You um, go forward. I'll, I'll I'll cover our rear. Is this the more recent Dark Crystal that has come out that you're talking about, or like so the that, old one? So the more re the, I'm talking about the old one, okay. but we should before we watch like the original movie, we actually should Gee, watch the, the Netflix show because the Netflix show explains a lot of what is missing. Oh really? Okay. From the movie, and so I is would. Is Jim Henson still alive? No, he passed Grenade. away in the '90s. So that this TV show that happened was the yeah, studio the that he worked with. Yes, right? actually, okay. his. His daughter runs the company, oh, and she yeah. was the main director. I, believe, I remember of the you show. telling me that. No, yeah. yeah. Actually, also fun fact too: the little boy who plays um, Toby in the Labyrinth, the yeah. baby, mm -hmm. he grew up and now works for Jim Henson's Muppet no Company. Yeah, he's oh, one of sick. the main puppeteers. That's tight. For the the company, he worked on the Dark Crystal show. That's so cool. As one of like the main main guys. Yeah, isn't that? freaking awesome mm -hmm. but yeah if we're gonna watch it we should watch the show first because you'll be a lot less confused because the show is based on the comic book series that he wrote and i'm honestly super upset that netflix did not um decide to sign on for season two i think that was a major bummer yeah i remember that happening i'm honestly really sad <laughs> Damn. i mean they did like finish like telling a story in season one, but like there's so much more that you can tell was going to like keep going. But the season season one still like will give you like a really good amount of the movie. Context. Yeah. You'll it'll make a lot more sense. Sorta of out of subject. Um 
it's not quite puppeteering, but the, um, what is it called, Kubo and the Two String. Mm -hmm. So they recently had a display of all of the pieces from that set oh, no shit. at the some museum in downtown Portland. Mm -hmm. And I got to see it, and some of the pieces are huge. Mm -hmm. They're like uh, 12 to 15 feet tall. Yeah. I think that was the height of the, the skeleton. Yeah, dude, the right? skeleton. Yeah, right, he right. was really tall. Yeah, but they had they displayed like all of the pieces to that movie, mm -hmm. and really neat. And then they had some, uh, some video footage, too, of not just how they did the shot by shot, but how they built each character, mm -hmm. which is really fascinating. Have you ever seen the uh, behind the scenes stuff of Coraline? No, you go, Don? Super cool, really? really, really cool stuff that they had to do to like, like sometimes they made characters bigger and small, like they made them the smaller versions for like when they had these huge sets. Designed yeah. like I believe like the garden scene was actually a lot smaller than you like in comparison to everything else because they had to do so much detail work for it so like it's a little bit different like in size and like you're gonna crucify me i've never seen caroline you've never seen Coraline, really yeah. you're gonna love it we're gonna watch <laughs> it i'm literally adding it it's one of my favorite movies like it's not really like it's an animated movie mm -hmm. but i definitely wouldn't call it a children's movie like by any means yeah the uh the couple times that i've almost watched it I like was about to watch it and then I was like, you know what? I don't really I'm not in the mood for like a dark movie, you know. Mm -hmm. It's honestly one of my comfort movies. Really? Like it's it's really cool and it's one of those movies that's so much fun to rewatch because there's so many little Easter egg things mm -hmm. in it that like you're like, "Oh, sh sh like oh my god, that's so interesting." Yeah, kind of thing. Cool. I need to get my laundry up. Will you also grab our DoorDash from the front door? Is it there? Yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you. Oh, my mic I'll tip ya. Oh, that's why you weren't yeah. saying anything. <laughs> yep. I was, Don's like, Mike warning was about grenades and saying shit. Don, have you ever seen, like, Dark Crystal? The Dark Crystal? I think we watched it. We did, we Either did we watch watched it. it. Or, yeah. Yeah, we did. So, we, yeah. Watched, we watched it the night after we went to Green River Gorge, and we got pizza. Right. Oh my that god! Was a good oh, night. Oh, that oh. was that was a lot of fun. Have you did you days. did you watch? Yeah, right. Did you watch the show on Netflix? I think I started it, but I just had too much to finish it. Yeah. But it looked good. Is it good? Should I keep watching it? Yeah, it's really good. In my opinion. I'll make sure. Grenade. In my like, I love when people do reboots of things like that. Of instead of just like completely redoing the story they like add on to it you know yeah like if they redid the dark crystal i would be so upset but the fact that they were like adding on to the movie in like a way that was very worthwhile and like made the movie more enjoyable like that's what a sequel should be you know or, prequel. or that's, yeah a that's prequel, you hit the g spot a, a reboot <laughs> you know like whatever it is like if you're gonna add if like if you're gonna keep doing something i hate when people just like pretend like the original thing like doesn't even exist you know and obviously there's different things that you know like you know plays i think are a little bit different because it's just like a script that you can like interpret but like i don't know it just felt different like the live action of the disney animated movies just never have felt like super authentic to me except for that. maybe except for maybe like maleficent because i really liked that they like added Ew. on a whole other story to it weird olivia what? you want to see what happened Stinky to our old ship captain grave mine. that's what happened to him wait <gasps> what? Ew! Is he powering that thing? He's the he's the main mind of that thing. <gasps> really? Yeah, the flutter trying to access his memories. That's grody. That's to, very Resident Evil. Yeah, because they all they all operate on like a hive mind, pretty much. Yeah. And so that's a proto grave mind trying to control all the flood, what? and they're trying to get Captain Keys's memory chip so they can get off the ring. Wow. But we just took it. Damn. And we also blew up Keys' face. We can look at it now. Damn, Damn. he really punched through Keys' yeah. face like that? Took his fucking neural chip. Damn, homie. Can I punch through his ears? 
Yeah, that is yeah. very Resident Evil-esque to me. That's Grenade. really cool. Oh! Very The Thing, too. True. But it has it in the end of, like, the dude's, like, head, oh. you know, kind of thing sticking out of it. Yeah. Oh you my ever... god. That was a double team Don, Don, you ever seen The Thing? The Thing? Yeah. Like the, like the Ice Cap Shit. movie? Yeah. Like the uh, original? No, but I know I the died. references about it. Do you? Ha oh, you've never seen it? Oh my god, it's no. it's super good. I think you would like yeah. it. Yeah, I'm it's... sure it is. All the movies that like I've seen that people parodied because I'm too young to actually see authentic movies. Yeah, there's no parody of <laughs> yeah. popular movies. They're all good. I actually didn't really mind the Thing remake that they did in what 2012. Did they remake it? Yeah, they yeah. did. I actually didn't know that. Uh. Yeah, I... you know, it's good. Like... Oh, fuck. Whoa! You know, special effects have come a long way, for sure. But there's something... there's something so, like, sinister because, like, the thing was kind of doing it first of, like, a very, like, unsure who done it kind of thing. Damn. And... Oh, yeah. Let's so go, it, let's it go, just... Let's go, let's go. It just makes it, like, so much more, uh... Like life or death, because it was, you know, one of one of the original Shit. stories to kind of do that for that film. This is not the right <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah, well, it's probably one of those things we have to battle until the door opens. I want no, to grab my door. food, but I also door. don't want to bump the mic. No bump. No. Green door. Bump. Green door. Green door. Green door. Keep moving, soldier. No so moving, I'm soldier. I'm in. I'm back. Keep moving, soldier. No so moving, soldier. Let's come on. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> oh, I blew myself up. Oh, I just got <laughs> nailed in the Aiden? face by a grunt rocket. Rock rocket grunt. Go back to the shuttle bay. Move. Find a ride. Yeet. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, <laughs> they just threw grenades at each other. Yeah, I got <laughs> bodied quite quickly there. We, we got gotta, it. We gotta put Michael Jackson's "Don't Stop" over this part. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson's "Don't Stop." If only we would yeah, get the copyright strip Don't for stop that. till you get enough. Come on. Oh, okay. Like a porn star. It's not like don't a porn stop star. Till you get no. Well, I'm the same exact place! <laughs> well, this doesn't seem right. We gotta go down. I want my food. Almost done, my love. <laughs> Quick, let's take those banshees. Those weirdly big banshees. Bye! See ya! Oh. I'm out. Oh yeah, I'm outie. Anyway, I'm that's going to do it for this episode of the Jolly Jazz Cabbage. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead, if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe. You can always subscribe because it's quick, it's easy, it's free. And if you decide that you actually don't want to be subscribed, you can always unsubscribe. Uh, where you have a Patreon, www.com slash... Fuck! www.patreon.com slash the Jolly Jazz Cabbage. Uh, right now we're running a promotion where the first five people to sign up get top tier benefits regardless of tier. Don hit him with the TikTok link. Well, I always gotta hit him with the TikTok link. Oh, you know, know follow us on TikTok at <laughs> Jolly Jazz Cabbage. The Jolly Jazz Cabbage. Always great content over there. Quick little fun clips you can just enjoy on your feed. It's but until time. next time. A uh, goodbye. Bye. Forrest says bye. Yeah. Bye, Forrest. Don's just chewing his food. I'm just eating chips. Later. <laughs> bye. <laughs>